Good morning. It is officially turkey season. It's opening day here in Alabama, and I am pumped up about it. See, the thing is, though, I don't really know how to make a turkey hunting video. So, uh, <laughs> I've already been hunting uh, today. So what I'm gonna do for today is I'm gonna just tell you all the story of what happened. And I've got some footage that I can put over top of it and stuff like that. And then uh, maybe by next week I'll have it figured out how to make a better turkey hunting video. But uh, as for this morning, uh, it was a relatively uneventful morning as far as turkey hunting goes. It's, um, it's a pretty bad day, honestly. I mean, you can see it's uh, overcast and it's raining and those are two things that turkeys don't like so um i went with my dad this morning and we uh got into the woods and set up on a greenfield because we knew some turkeys were roosting on a creek out the back of this greenfield and so we figured we'd try and call them up into it and we got set up and we were calling and we had one jake answer us uh not long after daylight today and it was just a little half a gobble, you know, like Jake's do. He hadn't figured out how to really gobble yet, but um, he answered us. And so we yelped back at him a couple times and stuff like that, and nothing. And then five, ten minutes later, another bird finally answered us. And that was a, a full gobble. He was a little bit more mature bird, but he was still young, you could tell. As far as gobblers go, that was pretty much it for the day. We heard uh, those two and that was it. We had a couple other hens that we would hear every now and again yelping back at us or clucking or putting or stuff like that. Those two gobblers gobbled one time each and then just shut up. We don't know where they went. We don't know if they went anywhere. We just, you know, we sat there on that green field for forever, felt like. It actually, something was pretty cool. Today we were sitting there and dad had just yelped and I heard a limb break over my shoulder. And so I was like, oh, there he is. I figured, you know, maybe it was a bird flying down or a bird stepping on a limb or something like that. So I looked over my shoulder. I saw what looked like a deer running through the woods. I was like, wait a minute. This is turkey season. There's not supposed to be deers out here. But uh, sure enough, this deer ran out of the woods down the, onto the road that goes out of this green field and came trotting right up the road right to us and walked five yards in front of me. It was a, uh, a doe and her little yearling. So that was pretty cool. That stuff never happens during deer season, you know, but turkey season come around and all of a sudden the deer start coming out. Not long after that, we decided to get up and move to uh, across the greenfield because we figured, you know, well maybe if we get a little bit closer to the birds, if they're still down there, it'll get them a little bit more heated up and they'll move towards us too. And so we did, we got up and uh, snuck across the greenfield and snuck into the wood line and sat down and sat there and yelped for a, a while probably 45 minutes something like that and just nothing nothing ever answered us we thought we heard one hen cluck one time but that was it and so uh we just eventually stood up from there because we were starting to get achy and hurting you know and uh we was like that's it we're we're going home we're gonna quit and uh we did that was the end of our hunt today so uh like I said, I don't really know how to make turkey hunting videos. I know this would probably suck. If you watched it till now, thanks for watching. You're awesome. Appreciate the support. But uh, if you didn't watch the whole thing, I ain't going to hold it against you. We'll see if we can make a better story out of something next weekend.